In April 2018, several inmates were killed at Lee Correctional Institution after a fight that lasted for hours. The fight revealed some issues with the Department of Corrections that lawmakers say they're trying to fix. Our George Ray Godfrey was at the State House today where a committee held its first meeting of the year to look at changes to that agency. It's been almost two years since a special committee was created to evaluate the Department of Corrections. Now leading into the 2020 legislative session, lawmakers on that committee are ready to present recommendations for changes to state law to the General Assembly. Over the last year and a half, a House Legislative Oversight Committee has looked at the Department of Corrections, operations, facilities, staffing, and inmate treatment. Well, I don't think it's any surprise to anybody that we've got challenges in our uh, Department of Corrections. The sentencing system is just one area where the Department of Corrections is recommending legislative changes. Things like reducing time served for an inmate from 80% to 70% and fixing the logging system. What I think has, has shook me the most is that we've been uh, inconsistent with our ability to figure out how long people need to stay in, in jails and, and that's for a, a lot of reasons. It's a paper system so it's something that we have to interpret and it's like the telephone game. Lawmakers in the Department of Corrections want to also address sentencing requirements for placement in a state prison. To have people not come to prison unless they've been sentenced to over a year, they still do their time in the county jail, but we're one of the lowest states when it comes to folks coming at 91 days. Salary cap for retired employees and increased penalties for the smuggling of contraband are also on the Department of Corrections list of recommendations for lawmakers to move forward with. The 2020 legislative session will start next Tuesday. In Columbia, Georgia Re Godfrey, 7 News. Uh, the Department of Corrections says at least one cell phone company is not cooperating with the technology the prisons want to use to restrict cell usage. The department wants legislation this year that would require companies to participate.